Okay, let's talk about um, what you got coming up because I know you guys got a lot of stuff happening. I got a cheeseburger coming up here in about 15 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> I got a chicken sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. I, I can, uh, you mind? Go ahead, please. Yeah. Please do. Um, December is really, really busy for us right now. Obviously, the CD came out in October, but December is going to be real busy. We have some neat things coming up. Um, playing Martin's Tavern um, next next weekend, and then Van Wert, and we're doing a, uh, a benefit for Van, for a guy in Van Wert, a friend of ours, whose liver is failing. And we're going to try to help help him and his family out. Uh, we are doing a Christmas show at the Rusty Spur. With uh, it's an all original show. We're going to have Surface there, us and Downstate. Uh, and that's going to be exciting. The New Year's Eve, we're at Martin's Tavern. It's going to be a, a real good show there. Martin's Tavern is always a good time. Um, so get your hotel rooms now. Um, also in February, February is, is, is a big show at the the Embassy. Yeah, down the line. Uh, February nineteenth, the down the line show. Um, I don't know if we're going to say who we're going to cover yet, but but it's going to be. A, I'm going to say. Did you tell him? Should we I'm tell everybody say. else? I okay. heard something about refugee or something. Yeah, tell, I don't know. Tell, tell, tell him, Patch, who we're going to do. <laughs> we're doing Led Zeppelin. <laughs> oh, really? It's already been done. <laughs> <laughs> that's get the that's memo. what I'm learning. Anyway. He didn't get the memo. <laughs> he didn't get the memo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we are, we're going to cover Tom Petty for that. Yeah. Um, we do a couple of Tom Petty songs, and, and they like the way we do them. And then uh, we won the Battle of the Bands, the uh, Musical Warfare for Pierre's a couple yes. weeks ago. Yes. Um, that's also helped us. So we've been in contact with some some people nationally. I don't really want to go in detail on that, but uh, some neat things going on uh, there. And we're guaranteed a couple opening slots at Pierre's, so we'll see where we go from there. Maybe we can rub some elbows with <laughs> David Coverdale. <laughs> All right. I know who that is. I know, I know. David Copperfield. I know who he is. <laughs> I know David guy. Copper. He's the magic dude. Uh, can get out of water with the, you know, without breathing and stuff. I know him. No, but we're looking forward to uh, spreading out and going a little farther, uh, farther out. I want to get these guys farther away from home. The farther away from home they get, the more they act up, and okay. that makes me look better because I always act up, even if I'm next door to my house. So. <laughs> These guys will look better. When I look better when they're when they're acting up farther away from home. But we're trying to get it out, spread the word a little bit, and uh, hopefully people are keep enjoying our music. And the neatest thing about this release, since we released this CD, is uh, at our shows now, lots more people are singing our songs yeah. back to us, and that's just got to be one of the coolest feelings oh, I've sure. ever felt in my life. Yeah. Hi, come on, <laughs> double up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Now you guys are you guys um, uh, starting to write songs for a second disc already? Or? Yeah, this this process has been we've been we've been pounding on the way pretty hard as as far as learning. Uh, this took a little bit of time doing sure. our acoustic set. Um, we did a Halloween show that was uh, totally '80s. Our whole first set was '80s oh, really? music, so we learned a bunch of songs for that just to just to uh, fit the mood and then and then go along with the theme. Um, I just feel like I should shut up and give this to you. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's about as far as I ever get with this guy. Never used to talk. That's but, actually the first time I heard Scotty say he needs oh, to shut up. Oh, one more thing. Rocking the Fort. Uh, we've been in contact with Rocking the Fort. Um, okay. I can honestly say that one of my dreams is to play the Coliseum. We're going to be playing the Coliseum in spring. Wow, that's so, a big uh, crowd. So that's the Embassy Pierre's and the Coliseum. I'm not, you're not going to get a, a whole lot bigger than that in Fort Wayne. So as far as uh, that's Madison Square, I think. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, 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 I'm with you, Mark. Right. Come on your side, but uh, let me ask one more question. If if I have never seen Kill the Rabbit, which I have many times personally, if I had not seen Kill the Rabbit, and I come to see you guys for the first time, what can I expect to see? Nudity. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, Actually, you're not too far not off on that. <laughs> yeah, uh, I would say you're going to see an energetic show. Um, a lot of times, even even some bands, see, when they get on the, the next level, seem to uh, be happy with uh, just kind of swaying back and forth and singing their music. Um, you can't you can't stand still on our stage or you're going to get taken out because everybody's <laughs> having a good time. We honestly and truly do this because we love it and it shows when we're playing. You're going to see a band having a good time. We don't come... Mark, Mark, Mark made this line up. It was great. We don't, we don't come to play for you. We come to party with you and have yeah. a good time. And that's, we involve everybody. We want everybody singing. We want everybody, even if you're just sitting down, tapping your foot. If that's your thing, tapping your foot, that's fine. Just do what you do to have a good time. And that's what we do. I and mean, we're all uh, having fun over there, up there, doing different things. I get a little, 
climb happy. I climb, <laughs> climb things. When I'm having fun. Yeah, so I can tell you many stories about the climbing. <laughs> uh, also, um, you know, Scotty touched on on the party with you. you know, it doesn't matter if we're in a record store with 20 people. Um, we're going to give you all 110 you know, Or when we're at the Coliseum or the Embassy, you're going to see the same thing. Or whether it be a pub down the street, you're going to see the same thing. And that's, uh, that's right. We love what we do, and, and we have fun doing it. And um, who would you say you're influenced by? Could you give me a couple influences, maybe? I'm influenced by Mark Baker. <laughs> Mark Baker. <Okay. laughs> Who's not? Who's not? I'm influenced by Patch Adams. Tony okay, Gordon, all right. Sheridan all right. Leapy. I'd say Kiss is a big influence. Right. Oh, he's being serious. Kiss. <laughs> yeah. It's right there. Look at it. Look. Kiss. <laughs> there's, your, there's your plug, Gene Simmons. Now yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. No he doubt. needs it. He needs CDs it. For him. <laughs> um, I would say definitely definitely one of the first, uh, and, and I've got to say and show my age, is, it was in albums that I received when I was a kid. Uh, I got four of them at one time when I was a kid in a little microphone record player that had a microphone plugged into it. So it is my mom's fault. It's all her fault. <laughs> um, I've got I got a Rod Stewart album, okay. um, and and uh, and I had an Elvis Presley album, oh, yeah. and two Kiss albums. Oh so, really? You know, wow. Kiss, Kiss was uh, I was <laughs> my first guitar. My mom bought it for me when I was a kid. She was being nice. I smashed it, uh, and she wasn't very happy well, about I think that. Well, Paul Stanley does that in the show. Yeah, well, yeah, that's where I learned it. I was watching Kiss, so I used to dress myself up and smash. I got to say, Kiss is my biggest fan, but I'm definitely my favorite band of all time is Led Zeppelin. Oh really? Sorry. Uh, for me, it was Kiss. Kiss and Rush and oh, yeah. Billy Sheehan. I mean Van Halen. I can yeah. go on and on and on. Um, but yeah. but uh, but Kiss was the first album I had was Love Gun. Um, Love the girls on the front. Thought that was cool. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> but the songs are good too. Plaster Caster was one of my favorites. It's hard just to mention one band. I, yeah. I'm a drummer, so I like anything with real drums in it. Uh -huh. Except country music. Oh, okay. <laughs> so Lady Gaga's out. X gay on the country music. <laughs> and I definitely, you know, growing up, it was Kiss. Yeah. You know, Van Halen, Doc, and Rat. Uh huh. Um, a lot of '80s rock kind of. A lot of, of '80s or? rock. Yeah. I love that yeah. stuff. And uh, you know, a lot of great guitar yeah, playing. Seven. You know, yeah. that's a big interest of mine. <laughs> yeah. And uh, you know, today, you know, I like bands like Shine Down and Theory of Dead Moon. Mm -hmm. um, so. Avenged Sevenfold. Yeah, Papa okay. Roach! Papa Roach, Seven Dust. Yeah, okay. Seven Dust and go on and on. One last question. If I was going to come back and see you guys in, let's say, two or three years, where would you guys want to be at that point? I want to be in a hotel on the road. <laughs> okay. All right. Where, yeah, where do you I think you'll be at? I, I would like to, actually, I would like to do an interview with you in, what, how many years did you say? Two years? A couple of years, yeah. A couple of years. We're going to be in a van down by the river. <laughs> <laughs> I was, gonna say, I was gonna say, I was gonna say, in a van going to the venue. Okay. The venue would be the by a river. By a river. Okay. By the river. Well, I wonder that the Coliseum is by a river. So okay. Yeah. Right. All right. Definitely, definitely. We we want we want to take this far as as, as far as we can. I okay. Mean, we're we're working as hard as we can on it and, okay. and uh, promoting it very well. I gotta give props, mad props to Mark Baker for all he does for this band. This guy just goes crazy and does a lot of work and he's dealing with a lot of people that I can no longer deal with. So <laughs> I'd like to thank you for taking that off my shoulders. <laughs> Yeah, I, I uh, appreciate that. All right, guys. Well, thank you once again very much for playing tonight. We really had a good time, and good luck in the future. It sounds like you got a lot of great stuff going on. So. Thank you very much. Thank you, Bob. Appreciate it, bro. Appreciate it. You bet.